creating a github account using the student id that we have in seneca this is how it's done so uh, uh, click on uh, go to github.com bring it up and click on sign up if you already don't have an account this is going to come up as you see enter your email use your Seneca email now uh, like that you can actually watch uh, set the watch active for repositories so if changes are done like to workshop repositories or a project repositories and that's gonna send a notification to you to your Seneca email account uh, this email can always be changed later on but use it for now and we'll go continue then we're gonna do a password for it and continue I'm gonna enter a username I don't know if it's taken or not it's unavailable so there you go continue so would you like to receive a product update uh, announcement via email uh, I would say I would I'm gonna say no right now but see what you want to do whatever you want to do that's the best it doesn't make any difference so username password and then solve the puzzle to make sure that uh, you're a real person it's not a robot so start the puzzle and there we go now I'm going to create the account so the account's going to get created. It sends uh, a notification to your MySeneca email. So go to your C, uh, to your email. So let's get into the email. And the email is right over here. If you do not receive an email from GitHub notifications, so let me just actually do this. 59476009. There we go. So there we go. Uh, yes, I am a student. So click on a student over here. It's going to be just me and, and a student. So you're going to be a student and click on OK. So uh, it, it recognizes that you're a student. And then uh, it's going to ask you what are the things that you're using for now. It's going to be collaborative coding uh, and community. So these are the good things to have. The rest of them, it doesn't apply to, but it really doesn't matter. And then you click on continue. So it's going to give you all the uh, 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 things that you have for free because you're a student and um, lots of stuff that you can do with it. So this is pretty cool. So you're going to go continue for free. And your account is going to get created and there we go we have an account created that's it so this is uh, uh, how to create uh, um, an account on github